Yeah, I, I've been in this for, for longer than I like to talk about now, but I also like to talk about the good things about how long I've been in it. Um, when I was growing up, I wanted to be Jeremy McGrath, you know, and uh, that motocross superstar. And it didn't happen for me. I got hurt. Um, probably didn't have enough talent anyways, but I got hurt. And so it was taken away from me. I, I was non-weight bearing for three years. And at that time, I was 15. And when you're 16, you turn pro. So all my friends turned pro. And so really, it's, it, it was a life-changing experience because everybody that I hung out with, everybody that I was with daily basis, you couldn't be anymore because it's hard to hang out with them because you can't train with them, you can't do the things that they do anymore. So it, it, it becomes a, a, a wondrous time. And um, I was lucky to, to, to know that I could work on bikes and always want to still have the coolest bike in the neighborhood, whether it be my BMX bike or my cruiser or whatever. And, and now it's just evolved into my Harleys. You know, I always wanted a Harley. I had a friend, Paul Tracy, who was an IndyCar driver and uh, rode a bunch of motorcycles. And he had a bunch of custom Harleys. And even though he had Ferraris and stuff like that, I always thought that his custom Harleys were the raddest thing in his garage. And so at one point I was I had the ability to to build a custom bike for myself and um, that bike got worldwide exposure and and I fell in love with the industry that I had lost um, in the motocross world and racing because growing up you're in racing it's like your family you know you work as hard as you can during the week and then you go race with your family you see everybody so whether you win the race or not you you visited with your family you know it was kind of your thing and and I lost that for a long time. In the V-Twin world, I found that again because it's the same thing. You know, you build your bike, you work as hard as you can, and then you go to Sturgis and hang out for a week with all your friends, and you do all the different contests that are there. So, not that I leave with a big trophy for, uh, for, for jumping doubles or anything like that, but I might leave with a trophy just because my paint job looks good. So I always tease McGrath now that it's way easier to do my job. <laughs> so. I'm happy um, where I ended up, and that's at uh, the table with, with my heroes and stuff, and, and that was from just working hard in the garage. Um, my dad was a mechanic, and I wasn't a huge fan of his growing up because everyone told me I had to be a doctor or a lawyer, um, but now I've come to realize that, yeah, mechanics can make it.